Right here, we're gonna check the ocean water right over here. Turn this on, it's gonna go up here. Look how much salinity is in there. It's 1.0 out of two. It evaporates how much salt or sediments are on the bottom. In the Dead Sea in like Kenya, Jordan, and Israel, it's very salty that you can float on the water. It's eight times saltier than this in our ocean. Well, holy cow, I made some mess. I have a huge cleanup to do. Salt crystals was in three cups of water of ocean water. The vacuum bucket from well from Hayward, which he picked up from the vacuum cleaner, you dump this out and then you put it back in before you do a backwash. And you usually do this once a week. The water, the dirty water comes in, it gets through the filter, but then it gets dirty from the vacuum and sitting in there for a week. The tank fills up, all the sediments go to the bottom, and the dirty water sits in here like a water treatment plant. So then you switch it to backwash, and it goes through the sand filter, and it takes out all the dirty water. You run this for approximately two to three minutes, because it also drains the water. The storm goes, look how dirty the water is. It's really cloudy, and now we're backwashing the pool. It cleans out the water. You only do this for about 20, 30 seconds to get any all the dirt, any dirt that's remaining in the system out. Okay, the water softener right here removes the rocks, and the minerals right here, the metals and Okay, you can see we're now backwashing. Okay, this is the short water tank. This is where the brine is, the salty water. It's like the ocean. Water comes in from the house, the pipes right here. It goes into this water and it collects beads, uh, the minerals and the hard water right there. And then as it gets bigger, as the cycle comes on, it takes the water right here, the salt right here. It fills up and it charges the ions and it sucks it into here and cleans it out. One billion people live without clean water. It's very important and it causes health problems problems and people have to walk up miles and hours just to get some clean water and here by our stream and by the creek this is from the stream right here and we're gonna pour it in here we're gonna try to clean this water you can see it's going through the pebbles then it's gonna get cleaned through the sand filter and then through the, the paper filter and you can see now it's dripping through the bottom. Right here the dirty water is seeped through the screen right over here which holds back large impurities of the water such as branches, dead animals, leaves, rocks, or empty bottles. I have the hair dryer. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to melt this ice from the global warming or uh, climate change they call it now. Rock wall or a seawall right here. This protects the beach from erosion. Right here we have some seaweed or seagrass. It's large and out from the rock in the water. The sea or the rock. You can see New Jersey has a base sand because of the quartz and the granite and the sand. Bermuda has pink sand from the coral reefs. Florida has powdery white sand. It's kind of like flour, so soft and fine. And it's from the limestones and fossilized coral reefs. Okay, you're probably wondering what this milkshake has to do with the oceanography. It's going to be showing you the turbidity currents. You can see the bigger sediments, they go to the bottom. But that's calling downwelling. It brings warmer waters down. And you get upwelling as I turn this on. All the sediments are going to come up. We have a clam shell. We have a mussel shell. Conch shell, a scallop shell, the starfish shell, sand out, snail shell, jingle shell, and that's a horn shell right over there. The, the plastic gets broken down, they get biodegraded, but not all the way, they're called nurdles. Small pieces of plastic. Some things you find on the beach is some straws, water bottles, people leave the garbage on the beach, and plastic bags, and it gets stuck in the rock. The animals choke on it. Some people, they just litter and throw their garbage out. We got some fishing wire. You also don't want to leave these water bottles in your car because they get hot and they melt and they also have a harmful substance from drinking mel melted plastic, which is called so PCB by phenyl that are, uh, and it also causes cancer and birth defects and liver problems. The Great Pacific Trash Island, twice the size of Texas and nine feet deep in the water, unfortunately. To skim up the oil, as you can see right over here, see they could start to net it out right over there. The butter right here, we're going to show you it hardens up and it, it gets clogged in your drain, so you never want to put this down your sink because it hardens up. This is all what goes down your sink and drain and then it unfortunately ends up in the ocean right here. The soap after washing your hands and tired from washing your 
the laundry right there. And the dish soap, you can see it all coagulated and you can see that's what gets stuck in your drink. Environmental hazards to protect the environment. Do not allow pesticides to enter or run off into the storm drain. The toxic to toxic aquatic areas. And But they could get destroyed when boating or fishing because they, they bump into the coral and it destroys it. Also, coral bleaching is loss of color when they turn white as the bleach was poured in the ocean from the high the CO2 and the harmful UV rays. You can see he's still gone pretty slow. We'll have to check with the pressure and everything in a few minutes. Maybe he's still neutralizing the balance and the water out. Oh boy, he has too much pressure. You can see now the leaves are coming in much faster now because we turn more pa pressure on the, the skimmer. Here's an example of buoyancy. You can see there's air trapped in the line and the water is not enough water for him to sink back down. Okay, right here we're ha talking about swim bladders like the fish, how they adjust their buoyancy like how you saw with the Hayward vacuum cleaner but they regulate their buoyancy with the water column of the depth right there. Scuba divers we pressurize our air by we blow our nose and blow out of our nose right there to pressurize so we don't get a headache and every few feet and, and when, when you come up too quickly it could cause the bends as I mentioned and rapidly causing nitrogen to enter your bloodstream and form into your lungs and it's like a soda carbonated beverage. When you go down your lungs they shrink as you go down as you come back up they expand and go back to normal size. Okay we got algae control we're gonna need lots of it three of them. You gotta check this out look at this all this green whoa check that out. Oh my god this is really scary. No Holy cow, you can't even see anything. This is ridiculous. We had our pool for 20 years and this has never happened. This is really scary right here. Crazy algae bloom right here. The, the flock put all the all the algae and sediments sank to the bottom for within 24 hours. So he has to hand vacuum it quickly within a few hours. We can't use this Hayward, the automatic pool vacuum because the algae will suck it back in and he takes too long. He goes in circles. You can see he's vacuuming up all the algae, the pool guy. And we have it going to waste so it doesn't go back in the filter. Whenever you get stuck in a rip current, don't go against it, it'll cause you to get out of breath. But you want to stay calm, tread the water, and flag the lifeguard down. If you see your friend or someone there, don't try to rescue them. Because you could get stuck to you want to call a lifeguard or call the police or something.